Ray Bear back here for the third and final lesson in the electronics light and sound installation for the E11 Blaster. Uh, we're going to cover the uh, LED module today and we're also going to cover final installation. So you'll notice that you get four LEDs, two blue and two red. Okay, now I marked them somehow either on the stem or on the plastic itself, either red or blue, and because they're clear actually. So. The longer of the two leads is the positive, so keep that in touch. So you take mind. one each of the red and the blue, and you just put them through the holes in that LED holder. That's the first thing you're going to do. Leave it a little bit loose like that. And then take your other blue one, put it in the same orientation with the long leg over here. I take my two positive, the longer ones. Remember, the positive is the longer one. I just bent them right and out of my cut way. Cut the so. negative terminals a little bit down, about half of what's sticking out. Okay, and then give the ends a little curl. And then take your diodes here and cut one end of the lead about halfway. Okay. Pull that tape off, and we'll give these a little curl. I want to take on both ends our diode and we're going to hook one side to one of the negative. And we're going to go right to the negative hook on the other side and we're going to crimp that in place and we'll keep separation there but we want to make sure that it all fits in like a tube Now that we've repeated that on the second set of uh, LED holder, uh, now we're going to do our best to fill the, make sure that there's good separation, good separation of the wires in there, and we're going to do our best to fill this thing with hot glue. And repeat that for the other LED holder. After it's uh, dried, this glue, you can trim it off with a razor knife very easily. Okay, you're going to have two different colored wires in your uh, kit. Now, the difference isn't the color that matters. It's the weight of the wire, the heaviness. They're 24 and 28 AWG wire. Okay, so take the heavier of the two and cut two pieces 10 inches long and one piece nine inches long. Okay, and then the thinner wire, we want two pieces about three inches long and two pieces about two inches long. Okay, take two of these little connectors that come in the kit and take a Sharpie or mark, in, mark one side to indicate that it's going to be positive. Okay, it don't even have to be red. Okay, but just so you'll know later. All right, so we're going to take one of the uh, shorter of the the two inch wires, and we're going to put that on the uh, negative terminal. So let's get that a little hot, and then we'll just. There we go. Boom. That's all it takes. That's all it takes when you tin the wires. Now one of the longer, the three inch wires, we're going to go ahead and put that on the positive side. There on both sides. And we'll do that again to the, the other one. All right. And then we're going to hot glue these to make sure they they stay separated. A 
small piece of the smaller uh, heat shrink tubing to cover these uh, ends right there. And repeat on the other. We're going to take our 9 inch uh, of the heavier wire, the shorter of the three, and we're going to make a little hook on here. And we're going to hook that to the negative on one of these LED holders, okay? Right there on that loop. And we're going to hot glue that. Uh, about a one inch piece of the smaller of the heat shrink tube. And we'll put that over here. And we'll go over that. You can use a heat gun, but if you don't have one handy, you can use a lighter. Just don't let it burn. I got the fan on over my head, too. And then we're going to put a couple of little curls on the end of each positive wire. Alright, now we'll take our two 10 inch heavier wires, make a little hook on one end, now we can straighten these out. Just don't let them touch each other. We can hot glue that all right there, just like that. Okay. That should keep good separation there. And then we're going to take a piece of the larger heat shrink tubing. Really is probably three quarters of an inch to me. Put that over all three pieces. All right, so you want a piece of the larger. Um, Heat shrink tubing about five inches. And just slide that up there. There you go. Now there's the front LEDs completed. Okay, so you remember these guys from earlier, right? We made these. Go ahead and uh, cut a small piece of the smaller uh, heat shrink tubing to cover these uh, ends right there. And we're going to take these that we already stripped a quarter of an inch and tinned, right? We're going to wire in the rear LED holder. Uh, the short one's the negative, so that goes to the one here with the diode. All right, so I've connected the negative to the negative. Now let's connect the positives to the positive.
we need to put these battery connectors on there. And uh, Okay, but we're not done yet. We still need to connect this to the juice. That's where these puppies come in. All right, remember the shorter one's the negative, the longer one's the positive, right? So where does that go? Just make sure we have good separation here. And I'm gonna use hot glue. If you take your time doing this, you can really do a nice job actually. So just get, take your time and let it cool. And then hit it some more. Now you gotta realize that um, this whole harness is going to sit in the machine like this with a with this thing having a u-turn in it that is the LED module completed all right a lot of people ask me how far you can build the model until you have to start installing the electronics because they order them separately um, so the answer is right about here all right you can get it almost all built and I like to paint this barrel main barrel section first so I attach all the accessories that are going to it all right. uh, and I like to paint it first because with those holes in there for the speaker I don't want to spray paint directly onto the uh, speaker so. all right so the, the uh, sound module if you go in through the ammo port the ejection port there if you go in through the ejection port you keep this up there flat up on the surface where it's going to be going and just if you keep if you slide it in there you'll feel it wedge itself right into place right there just perfect and it just hangs this there the, the trigger group that we made in lesson two and uh, this is the the LED so before you put on the muzzle end it'll fit so don't put that on there yet I don't really even recommend uh, gluing that screws come with the kit so you might have to sand your little LED holder a little bit to make it fit smoothly or go in through the barrel with a rat file because of those two barrel connections right there right so just make sure it can go all the way through I'm snagging a little bit there it goes all right so we'll feed this also through the ammo port up through the barrel and I already know mine will fit because I went backwards with it but if it's giving you a little bit of a hard time you can always grab it with some pliers to help you get it down in there all right you'll notice another hole down in the bottom side that's where this other LED holder will go put that down in there and when you get that positioned just where you want it all right for now let's go ahead and pull all this out of here and we got our switch group we got to feed all these wires up through here now I marked the one I got for the battery connector here with purple that one is going to go up through and out the ammo port here to connect to the battery. Oh, since we we're going to glue this surface here, you need to scrape some of that paint off.
Alright, so we glued on our trigger group and we got all these wires. These short ones are going to be for the LED, the female, and this purple one. So we take our power supply, stick the wire through that uh, ammo port, and we'll connect this to our power. Alright, so that's how you change your batteries. Alright, let's go ahead and put our uh, LED kit in. Connect our two female connectors to the red and blue male connector. Okay, I hooked up my uh, four connectors. Make sure that we have everything correct. There's the kill sound and the red LEDs. There's the. Alright, so we got all the wiring correct. Let's go ahead and stick it all in there. And then we'll take our speaker, go in through the ammo port. Just tuck it all in there nice. That'll be covered up by the bolt when we put it in there. Fit in there nicely. See when you put your bolt in. There's some grooves there and that covers that up nicely. And then you'll be able to toggle your bolt too. And the clip, just barely because you'll notice that's why we use AAA batteries and not AA. And uh, the clip, I haven't sanded it yet, but you go in the front first and then, and then uh, hook that little sucker in there and then push this clip in. You gotta sand that to get it just right and that locks in place. So there you have it. All right, so there's the uh, safety. Nothing happens. There's, there's your uh, stun, and it also lights up underneath. And there's the kill. Also lights up underneath. And that's all there is to it. That's the end of the installation. Enjoy your Blaster Master E11.